All right, so I got some exciting ass news for y'all. If y'all already watched my other video or if my other video ends up uploading uh, before this one uploads and you already know what I'm about to talk about, salute to the BGE family first and foremost. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Uh, without y'all, there'd be no us. But uh, let's get to it. Devin Haney. Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying? He was already slated to be part of this lightweight tournament where we had um, Lomachenko versus Lopez, uh, Garcia versus Campbell, and then obviously we have Fortuna versus Linares, right? As of recent, the Linares versus Fortuna fight that was supposed to be for August, the end of this month, that was ended up calling off because Linares ended up uh, testing positive for COVID. If y'all don't remember in that video, uh, I said, I would like to see Devin Haney fight Fortuna. Why the fuck not? You know what I'm saying? Well, as of today, it's been reported Devin Haney is planning to fight on October 3rd. That is his official fight date. The two potential opponents, Fortuna and none other than Gamboa. Sturdy Gamboa. The man just came back from a torn Achilles, had the surgery, healed, all that good shit. And the man, he is not going light for his recovery or his comeback fight. He, he wants Devin Haney. So I want to know who y'all would rather see uh, Devin Haney fight on October 3rd. It is official. He will be fighting on October 3rd. It's just all about getting an actual uh, 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 opponent uh, to sign that uh, uh, agreement. You heard me? So who would y'all rather want to see Devin Haney in the ring with? Fortuna? Or do you want to see him against Gamboa? Me personally, I'm just going to let y'all know my opinion because uh, both of those motherfucking fights excite me. I would actually rather see Devin Haney versus Fortuna. Excuse me, Devin Haney versus Gamboa. My bad. I'd rather see Devin Haney versus Gamboa and then maybe uh, and, and then go ahead and give Fortuna. Maybe maybe uh, wait until uh, Linares go ahead and, and he gets cleared and just kind of uh, delay the Fortuna versus uh, Linares fight. But at the same time, if Fortuna's trying to get in there and he already has a, a contract signed, you know what I'm saying? It'll probably be a lot easier to get Fortuna and Haney made. But having Gamboa in that tournament, boy, shit, we can't pass up on that. God damn it. You seen what he, what he did with Davis, you know what I'm saying? He... he he, he, he gave Davis one of his toughest fights, and that nigga had a torn Achilles in the second round. So, uh, just the thought of having Gamboa in that tournament gets me get me pumped. But who would y'all rather see Devin Haney fight on October 3rd, Gamboa or Fortuna? And then, uh, real quick, we have a, a, an exact date for the Dillian White and the Povetican fight. That's going to be on the zone. It's going to be August 22nd. Uh, so, let me know. You know, that's going to be the first fight. Uh, starting the heavyweight tournament, Povetican versus White, okay? So uh, let me know how excited y'all for that. Once again, that's on August 22nd on the zone. Is that some shit y'all going to want to see? And I might as well just throw it out there real quick. Of all these uh, fights that are coming up, I'll go ahead and throw Dillian White versus Povetican in there. But which one excites you the most, especially when it comes to this lightweight tournament? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 excuse me, uh, Lomachenko versus uh, Tefima Lopez. That's happening in October. You know what I'm saying? You more excited for Garcia versus Campbell? That's happening in November, or are you more excited for Devin Haney versus potentially Fortuna or Gamboa? That's happening in October. You know what I'm saying? Let me know which one y'all want to see the most. How y'all feeling about this boxing? Uh, I, I'm I'm feeling pumped. I'm just hoping the fights don't let us down. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm hoping you know what I'm saying all the adrenaline is from seeing the names, and then when the fight actually happens, this shit is booth. Or you know we we have some bullshit that happened with like you know Fortuna and Linares. We get a COVID positive test, something like that. Uh, but either way it goes, I'm going to stay positive with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to hope for the best and hope all this shit really happens. So, uh, salute to y'all. Let me know who y'all would rather see Devin Haney fight, Gamboa or Fortuna. Let me know uh, of those four fights. I name which one y'all are more excited to see and how y'all feeling about boxing's future right now. We're starting to see the fights that we deserve to see. And it's all thanks to COVID, goddammit. Who would have thought a goddamn pandemic would be the only way boxing changes up its old crooked ass weak ass structure <laughs> uh, salute to y'all though salute to the people please keep throwing a goddamn like uh on any of these videos it means a lot comment i want to hear y'all opinion even if you disagree with me even if y'all being disrespectful y'all know i don't give a fuck i just want to see some goddamn comments and then as always hit that subscribe button you know what i'm saying that's 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 what matters the most so subscribe 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 uh salute bg family stay positive through all the bullshit shit's rough out here for a real nigga keep your mind in the sky keep your mind in the clouds don't let no bullshit keep you down. You heard me? And always stay true, whoever's around. Salute.